specifically for Emma and Izzy, um, this video is going to walk you through how to download images that are already in your book, excuse me, in your book Avenue. Um, and Izzy, I'm going to show you a way that I think you could download pictures, um, put them in a folder and kind of prepare to get them to Emma. Um, I'm going to do the example of the sports divider. Um, so in our divider, we need one large image to be our dominant image, and then probably <clears throat> a minimum of five images, and maybe a max of like 10, because sometimes having extra is a, is a good thing. <coughs> With the sports, we want to specifically concentrate on having each sport represented at least once. Um, so I'm in Yearbook Avenue, and I'm going to go to the image library, and I'm just going to kind of, in my head, go through the sports that we have. So if I start, um, and we want to make sure that these are pictures that aren't already in the yearbook. So if I start, start um, I guess I'll do fall pictures first. So we need one from football. And I know we're a little sparse on our football pictures. Um, and we also need to look at pictures that we can cut out. Um, so I thought, hmm, there's a way that we can easily flip through these, right? Why is it not coming up for me? Like that little next? Ah, there we go. Um, and we want to think about, you know, maybe people that aren't pictured. Uh, actually, I'm going to go back to that one. If there's, you know, honestly, this would maybe have a possibility. Yeah, I think there's a possibility there. Um, so I'm going to show you how to download it. You're going to go to details and you can say download image. I feel like we used that one, but maybe not. But I know Alex has pictured a whole bunch. And because we're doing a cutout, I'm really trying to look at the whole the whole picture to see who else we could possibly use in the... I love that picture, but I know it's used. Same with that one. I think I'm, I don't know, at first I thought I was, but yeah, I am back to the beginning. Um, well, maybe not. That'd be good, but no hand signs allowed. Um, what do we got going on here? This would probably look a little funky cut out. Um, I feel like this could have some possibility. So I'm gonna go ahead and download it. We always want Emma to have, you know, lots of lots of choices, but not too many. All right, now I think we're back to the beginning. So I've managed to pick out a football picture. Um, so we would need a cross country picture. Um, and you know what? There's a way that we can filter these to say not on pages. That would be beneficial. <clears throat> now we have to look that even though it's not on the page, that doesn't mean that a very similar picture is not already on the page. Or that the cutout of that picture isn't on the page. So those are things that we have to consider. Um, 
I wonder if this picture of Caleb is used anywhere. So we would want to check on that, but I'm going to go ahead and download it because I feel like even though it says it's not used on the page, again, there could be one very similar to it or a cutout. Mm, I think that picture is used. You know, just when I feel that I've looked at the pages, oh my, these are not cross country. I feel like I've looked at the pages a whole bunch. I feel like I'm always finding pictures that I'm not sure if they're there or not. Oh, was that picture of Ronnie used? I'm gonna download it. And you know, I could actually open up another tab so I could go to these pages real quick. All right, I think we're back to the beginning. I managed to pick out some cross country. Um, we will need a cheerleading picture. Oh good, I already have it filtered for not on pages. <clears throat> I think this one could have some possibility. Um, won't be hard to cut out, but not the easiest. It's hard trying to decide exactly kind of what what expression or action we want like I love this picture and I think we could get this as a good cutout but do we want something that has a little more action it's kind of what we have to ask ourselves um, I'm gonna give this one a shot um, and this is where Emma might have to say hey look this picture doesn't work I need something else all right, so we need a boys soccer. Um, so at this point, I think you're probably getting the idea. I will finish the sports up, but I wanna show you the next step. So these pictures are in my downloads now. Um, so Izzy, what you can do is you can, in your downloads, make a new folder. Um, I'm gonna call this one sports divider and I'm going to select all those pictures and drag them into there and then when you're done <clears throat> you can put it on a flash drive put it on a memory card send it via email put it in Google and share it whatever get it to Emma but you really want to stay a day ahead of Emma so I'm gonna go ahead and start on the sports so Emma has the sports to work on, um, and then you'll have the other ones to work on in class. Um, so basically by Friday, you would have limited things that you would need to do, um, and you could help Nikki or Brody maybe with some, some editing. Hope this makes sense, guys. Thank you.